I've just finished packing all of my gear, ready for another land-based mission. I'm about to make the massive five-minute walk up the road to Milan's house, jump in the truck, and then we've got a couple of hours in the truck, but I'm hoping that we have timed our drive perfectly to coincide with the sunset while we're going up the coast road. As I understand it, we're camping in a paddock tonight. Camping with the cows, apparently. But that's okay, because when we wake up, we'll just have a short walk to an awesome land base ledge. I've just put 20 kilos worth of burley into the chili bin, so Milan's walk down the hill is gonna be a little bit heavier than mine. <laughs> Did I mention it's gonna be a full moon tonight and we're going fishing on the full moon? Yeah, <laughs> not a good idea, I know. I haven't fished this spot land base before, but I have fished this point in the boat. And looking up at the rocks, there's been a couple of ropes. Well, there's some ropes in my memory somewhere, so I'm guessing at some point there's gonna be uh, ropes involved. Once we get down on the rock, it's gonna be just like any other land-based mission. Get the burley in the water straight away. Milan's gonna get his gear out, get that sorted, get rigged and ready. Try desperately to catch a Kawai live bait, or any live bait, to be honest. Stick that out on Milan's little float rig, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that, that's about it. That's about as far as I can foresee. So I will see you in the morning time on the rock. Is the burley working? Yeah. Oh, big snapper down there. Did you see a side? Hey? Yeah, already. You can see a big snapper. Yeah. Well, then catch it. No, I've just got a sluggo going. See if there's Chuck any your any kingy right away, man. Catch that big snapper. I reckon you should catch a couple of these snapper to take home. There's a real nice one down here, man. There's like two or three kilos worth of snapper swimming around in the burley trail, and I pretty much got a big melee to catch one because he's so fixated on his kingfish. Is it snapper time yet? It's snapper time. It's snapper time? I've got a live bait going. I do want to cast a sluggo around, but I'll wait. Where's your trace? I'm going to tie one on. Oh. No, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Snapper bait number one. Whoa, first snapper bait. Here we go. Can you see a big kingfish? Really? Yep. Oh, yep. You get him? Oh, you did get him. Hooked him. Nice work, Marlin. He's in the weed already. What gear is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Marlin, you just got owned. What's going to happen if a real big one comes along? I got your trace at least. Man! Oh, man! Didn't go hard enough, ran away. Well, how, how heavy is that gear? Um, 100 pounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it should have just ripped his face off. Went straight over. Yeah. Can only put that down to poor angling. Poor didn't, angling? I didn't have enough drag on my reel when I hooked that fish. That's not like you, Milan. No. You're that guy that rips their faces off. I'll tell you what, if you want to catch a kingfish off the rocks, ripping their face off seems to be the best way to do it. <laughs> the boys will persevere. We will be here until low tide, and it's not even high tide yet, so... Fingers crossed, the best is yet to come. Last burly bomb. Got to get it in. No point be frosting in the pack. Clip pop. Yep. Quick, quick, Turn clip pop. You reckon it's a fish? It's a fish. Oh, it is a fish. <laughs> it's definitely a fish. Oh. He's in the weed though, bro. Oh, straight away. <clears throat> He's not in the weed now. The I've float... got another line in the water, bro. The float's moving. Oh, do you want me to wind another rod in? Yep, real quick. This hole between the legs winding thing. Oh, I can see it. I don't know what it... Kingfish. Kingfish. Oh. 
Boom. Boom. He's right up in the gut. <laughs> right in the gut. He's trying to reef you. I know all about reefings today. Yeah. He's a scrapper. In one of those days. He's been a hard work, all right. Big one. He's right there in front of the rock. He's right like a meter off the rock. Okay. Over there, look, see just off the point. He's coming back this way. He's coming back this way. Wait, no, no, don't cast that way. He's gonna come right past the rock again. See there he is there. I can't see it. Right there, right there, right there. He's coming for his stick mate. Oh. <laughs> he's right in the gut, man. He's gonna come out of that gut. He's gonna come back out of that gut, Melan. Work the Lewis said it's right in that gut when he comes out. He's gonna come right underneath you now. He's coming right underneath you now. Oh! It's a good fish, man. He's that tiny one. Oh, there he is. Did you see it again? Yep. He swims right up into the gut and then swims out here. He's going to come straight out the front there. Perfect cast. Oh, Did you hook him? Yep. That big one? Yep. Oh, you're in the shit, man. <laughs> He's in the crab. Oh, no. Is he out? You got him out. Yep. Oh, you're gonna better get him. <laughs> Holding the spool. That was a solid looking fish, man. That'd be like 10 kilos, wouldn't it? You got your back in the reef. Oh, no. Come on, Marlon. You got him out? Is he in or out? I'm out. You're out of the reef. Oh, there's a chance. <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah, it's not good for fighting fish all night. I can't even walk around it properly on. Oh. Man, you're in with a shark, you might just get him. Oh, it's a nice looking fish. How heavy is that gear? <laughs> I thought that was your bait rod. It is. <laughs> well, your bait rod's owning that fish, man. Check him out. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at, Look at the trace, it's got a big... Oh, it's <laughs> oh, a solid fish, man. Try and get him right in by your feet. <laughs> oh, he's got the jaw, nearly had the trace. Come here. Oh, get him in the mouth. Grab his mouth. I feel like we've done this before. <laughs> I can't believe you landed that fish on that gear. Not badly. Oh, drop him. Don't drop him. Do you want me to take the rod? Yeah. Go the baby salt here. Oh, I've got no hook in him. So you lose him. Oh, that trace is mounted. <laughs> Oh, nice fish, Marlon. We were trying to get another car wire or a piper or something. Saw another kingfish. Threw some cubes in the water. He started eating them. And then managed to get a cube in front of him to eat. Awesome day. <laughs> and it was starting to look pretty dippy. Just put the time in and put the effort in. Oh, what a day. 
awesome when it comes together and it's so cool to get them on a bait instead of a live bait something a little bit different check out that so close to losing them totally <laughs> heat up my trace completely annihilated the trace all right hey? all the way through but we got the fish and that's all that matters well that's it that's our day nice fish landed super happy when I very first met Milan in the gym, I remember him all those years ago telling this guy about land-based fishing. The guy wanted some advice about land-based fishing. And Milan said, look, you want to get on the rocks at high tide. Chuck some burley in the water, catch your live baits, and then swim your live baits until low tide. And at low tide, that's when Milan believed the kingies to run the coast. And if you had a live bait in the water at that time, then you're in with a chance. The only problem has always been catching bait at the dead low tide so Milan gave this guy that advice he went away and caught a fish and today we've done exactly that we got here before the high tide got our bait on the high tide and then we stayed on the rock swimming a live bait all the way to the low tide and at low tide we got three chances on fish and the third fish being the best of the day and in my mind a reasonable fish any day so yeah Moral to the story, full moon or not, go fishing, get your live baits at the high tide and have them in the water at low tide, ready for the kingfish to swim the ledge.